What's up guys? Johnny Two Pipes. John, some of you may know me. Uh, just thought I'd quickly upload the, or record, re record the video that got deleted the other day by YouTube, which was the GQ Blend's first impressions of this one, which is Clementine. Sorry, Custom Blend 1. Clementines or Clementines nip. I've got my plate with me today to rub it out. Um, the reason I'm doing it over here instead of where I normally record my outside videos is because there's some fucker doing work on the other side of the house. So, oh shit, that's a lot. It's a lot of tobacco. Take a bit of that back. Smoking this in Bent Missouri Mission corn cob. If anyone could tell me what, which one it is, great, because I don't fucking know. They're all made of corn, so. Similar in my eyes. That's damn sure. I'll do about half a ball packed. As I say, I've done this review before and know exactly what it's going to taste like, so. Shouldn't be any surprises. Come, go on. No. Fucking damn pipes. And by pipes, I mean matches. Damn matches, sucker. I'll take it, yes, nice. Sweet. My drink of choice today is a good old cup of coffee. It's fucking cold out. Grows on you this blend, I tell you what. First time I smoked it, I was like iffy with it. This time though, it's, just, it's very, very refreshing. the old laptop and give you the rundown of what is in this motherfucker. Try the laptop super loud. It's a shit laptop so that's why I upload these straight off my phone. What's going on? There we go, I've got a black screen. I'm gonna try and make two of these today so after I film this one I'm gonna Got my box of tobacco here, I'm going to try and film another one. Um, but we'll see how things go. See what's what. Alright, let's do the... First, let's just do the old scent test. So, how the bag, what can I smell? Some sweetness. Um... Floweriness, it is. There is floral bits in this. It's, I can't tell whether the camera's shaking or whether it's the face recognition shit on it. Um, overall, it just smells very, very, very sweet. Um, and the reason for that is what's in it. Which I will tell you right now. So. In this you've got uh, Virginia, Black Cavendish, Kentucky, Burley, Perique and Havana. Um, the coating or casings on it is coconut, caramel and floral, which definitely get a sweetness. 
can't taste caramel per se or coconut per se, but you get a sweetness. And then that floral, excuse me, that floral definitely kicks through. That is the main taste. It's a mixed cut, which is it's shag, coarse cut, and cubed. But in this, um, got it. I mean, we can't really see much cubing in that, but that's cubing, not cubing. Um, right. Run through the product description. Custom blend number one. We take no credit for over the creation of the blend. I'm not gonna do that voice, fuck it. This ain't, this ain't no stuff and things video. Motherfucker, if you want stuff and things, you go see that motherfucker over at his channel. This, this shit, Johnny Two Paps. We do shit a little bit different around here. Right, custom blend number one. We take no credit over the creation of the blend. We have tweaked it a little, and that's all. Originally created by Kevin at Regis Cigars. This is a blend of fine Lakeland and aromatic tobaccos with a good helping of Perique. It is sweet, creamy, spicy, earthy and very, very delicious. Virginia, Black Cavendish, Kentucky, Perique and some Cuban cigar leaf. So it is Cuban actually, so when I said Cuban, yeah, Cuban, Cubing, take it all. Makes this a unique tobacco. The addition of caramel, coconut and classic Lakeland floral flavours. Mouth watering from start to finish, we love this stuff and take our hats off to Kevin for this stunning mixture. This tobacco is called Clementine's Nip after Kevin's dog, who gets to smell this every time he goes for a walk. Well done, the dog. Um, what I think of this, it is better than your average aromatic. There's a little something more to it, like, with, let me just move this out of the way. Oh, and the price of it, um, let's get 50 grams, comes loose, as I'll do all Glynn's blends, um, and for 50 grams it's 11 pounds and 90 pence. Um, yeah, as I say, like most other aromatics, they kind of, um, the shit tobacco really it's it's casing a shit tobacco and I don't like them this one it's good tobacco and you can tell that and it comes through the, the Perique's definitely in there the Virginia's you can definitely taste them um, and then the most aromatic taste you get is the floral taste Which is kind of like, I don't know, it's like an open, refreshing type taste, like, um, I don't know, it, it's, kind of, it's it's a good taste. So it is quite robust because of that Perique, it does add like that kind of spicy earthiness to the smoke. With the floralness on top of that. Overall, as aromatics go, it's a pretty good one. Uh, would I reorder it again? Um, I might do, but honestly, I probably won't because I just won't smoke it because I'm not an aromatic smoker. So it's like I could get shitload of it, I could sell her it, but there wouldn't be much point because it wouldn't go to use as our max do go though, that is a very nice one, it's kind of like oh, there's the dog behind me <laughs> it does kind of like um, it's kind of Sunday smoke newspaper maybe out on a walk with 
that guy's dog, Clementine. Just find him, steal his dog, take it for a walk, smoke some of this. He'll be golden. No, it's uh, it's a good aromatic, but I wouldn't buy it again. Not now, anyway. If it came an aromatic smoker in the future, definitely, because it is a good one. I know Jason Dagner says all this shit about like doesn't like these blends that are floral because it tastes like an old lady's armpit or whatever. I don't mind the taste of old lady armpits, to be honest. Depends how old we're talking. I draw the line occasionally. <laughs> no, but seriously, this uh, it's a good blend. If you like aromatics, I'd recommend you go out and get it. Link down below to where you can get it. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye now.